and welcome back to my YouTube. My computer uh, kind of went down on me and I'm sorry that I've lost a day or so. It's been very exciting. I found the signatures in many different places in the Mona Lisa. I found the x-rays. I found all kinds of things. This is the me Dion. I'm the proud owner of the diary of a painting in which Leonardo da Vinci's life is dedicated in here microscopically that is of a um, codes. This is an x-ray that was pulled out of the me Dion, which means best boyfriend in the whole wide world. This is also another different type of layer of x-ray that has gotten highlighted a little bit, as you can see. This is the Mona Lisa, this is the Mona Lisa, and this is the Mona Lisa, which turned into this Mona Lisa when she was older. Now, I've showed you many of uh, images, uh, almost 4,000 exact images that uh, are going um, in front of you. But let me continue with uh, my um, works here that I pulled together for you. I'm going to be hunting down a supercomputer to hopefully has at least 16K involved. Um, so, you know any. I'm interested. Let me just show you um, this real quick that, that's going to give you just a little bit of lineup so it's not it's not terribly terribly um, excuse me uh, exciting in the sense of the other images to me but if you take this image and you overlay it in this area you can see how his outlines go small bigger 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 these are actually Mona Lisa's. As you can see, the, the design. I know it sounds quite odd, but if you blow her up a little bit more, she starts fitting. But what he does is he, like a metaphor um, or a hidden code. But let's go back to what I just put. Let me try to get this into you. If you put this right here, the meaning to me is that not only is the Mona here, this is Leonardo da Vinci as the Birdman, as the image of his arm, it's in the breast, and uh, his face turned, that's hidden within the works. It's also Sali, because um, he loved to fly, but you can tell through the arms how they float, that they go through in here, and how the hands float. But they also go through here and here. Now, I know it sounds odd, but I have well over 700 YouTubes of little Induendo uh, pieces that are similar. Now, this is of the Mona also. This is the side of her hair. And this is a little girl that actually turns into a little boy and then a little girl. And it's one of those um, images that... Um, are kind of not like a hologram but you can look at it and it flip-flops on you so every time you get into a depth of this it comes out to be now this is a signature of Leonardo da Vinci and you can see the man with the like a long fishing pole leaning up against there's also a man leaning over on what I would call the um, uh, uh, image that stands for harmony I do believe and this is his big L with a man hanging off. Now, if you actually look at it, you can see another man in a triangle, larger. So that means he's taking his images and he's making them bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, here is the trick one that I caught. Here's the boy that turns into a girl. His arm comes down and crisscrosses. Okay. Here's the boy that comes down with his arm comes and crisscrosses. Same way. Same way. So when you overlay these two, see? They're the same. Identical in every way. See? You can see how the design of the hair now it floats. Now I'm going to show you this this is this is where it gets tricky. But if you actually look at the stars that are bleeding through Here's this triangle, uh, okay? And in the stars, when I put it back up and line it up, they fit identically. 
the, the triangle man with the shaft fits identically. You can see the stars of the writing, they fit identically. The C that caps it of the man holding it fits identically. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna hold it here, pull it on down, you can see the C, you can see the line, and you can see the cut. But here's the trick that's gonna confuse you. Not only is there a cut that comes on down with a C, there's a cut that comes down with a C, and it goes here with a C, and it continues. So if I was to repeat my C's and my cut lines, they're everywhere. He signs his name everywhere. And she's not just here. Uh, how does he do that? Well, it's obvious he does it, but I don't have all the answers, but I do have a lot of pictures, 20,000 at least. At least. I, I, I don't even want to go there right yet. But let me show you, not only is that up and down in this area, okay, isn't that cool? Okay, now we got that particular part for you to understand that I have, this actually spells out Leonardo da Vinci Sir Pierre, excuse me. So when I, when, this is just an, this is just a taste of my YouTubes. Now here's another one that's turned, turned, uh, uh, his, his uh, signature is turned. The, the, the Mona is the same, but he turns it in the same area. He's always writing, and here's the proof on that. Okay, when you overlay, which is gonna be better, when you overlay, you can see the triangle that's fitting, that's bleeding through, okay? okay I can only get close. Now, here's, here's the answer to all the questions it should be. Not only does he have this, he has the man grow bigger, and he has him grow bigger, and he has him grow bigger. Not always just as a triangle, but as his other image. So when you put him back up in here and you want to see, you can see how he fits all the way up here with his stars around and how he gives the outline. He gives an inner and an outer. This, this L, he gives a short L, but you can see how something seems to stretch throughout that he didn't highlight in the, this particular part. It's under a different layer but you can see how he made it longer. So that means when he made this twice as big, which he didn't just make twice as big because this is how big it was, a little, and he was littler, and he goes bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when you follow it, here's a triangle, and then when he goes bigger, here's a bigger triangle, and then when he goes bigger, here's a bigger triangle, and it continues. So he's constantly signing his name again that I'm trying to tell you. Leonardo da Vinci is a code man. So when I take this same signature and the boy, now I never look to see if the boy exists within this image and if he does it we would be hidden in the black which you don't see. And I have seen a black completely gorgeous absolutely magnificent Mona Lisa. And people say, how can you see an all black Mona Lisa? Look, look at that tiny little signature. That's his signature. Then it gets bigger. You can see that. And when we were doing this, the other image is here. So not only did he sign his name this way, he signed it, he signed it this way. Then he also signed it this way and this way and every single way. Well. That image also fits from here, wraps across, and signs all the way over from his left ear to his right ear. If you follow my YouTubes again, I'm asking you, and if you subscribe to follow, it's even difficult for me to even follow for the reason is, is because there's so many of them, and not only are they so many of them, is that I don't know YouTube. I don't know how to cheat. I only know how to show the pictures. So what you see, you're going to have to forgive me if I don't know how to put them in order. 
I'm just the messenger learning how to do YouTube and learning how to explain myself with you to be a better teacher. And if you can help me with that, you would be very, very helpful if you can take that broken finger and hit the subscribe button along with the view and the notification bell. It doesn't cost a dime to do that. You would be benefiting a brother. And with that, I need to tell you, there is so much information. 700 plus YouTubes. 3,800 exact images such as what I have been showing you in more detail than what it is. And it's just absolutely learn out of my YouTubes why she has no eyebrows. She does. Why she's smirking. It's got to do with love. What the CE, the L2, the LV, the B, L, and the L, L2, yeah, and the 149 mean in the Mona Lisa's eyes. And I broke the codes of how he uh, did his works. The Mona Lisa has trillions of images in it that build it. Also see his knitting. So what I got to tell you, I own a Leonardo da Vinci painting. Here's her x-ray. And it also has not only that, it has the signature, it has his lover's name, Sali, in it, his other lover, Melzi. They were a three-ring circus. Learn about all that. Call your teacher, tell your teacher, tell your friend, tell your mother, tell your father. Keep it away from your kids a little to where, you know, be discreet. Um, for the reason is, there are some uh, YouTubes of mine that says, not for kids. So I do warn you on it. And there's there's hidden love. Okay, this, this painting has truly got to do with his love of art, his love of his friends. This painting has well over 300 images of signatures alone, of signatures, excuse me, of his loved ones that signed it, rest in peace. Learn about that too. And I mean, I got a half a million dollars invested in this. I'm selling my company off to continue this work. Uh, 38 years and giving up a Camaro business that I busted seven hernia surgeries for you. So please, subscribe, notification bell, thumbs up, wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands, tell a loved one, subscribe, may God bless the whole world, the universe and the heavens, and have a wonderful, wonderful night. I mean it, really, from the bottom of my heart. Um, send me a comment. I love comments. Keep everything decent and clean. In Jesus' name, amen.